So at the global office, uh, we have a multidisciplinary team, political science, uh, forestry economics, agricultural economics, and also very strong administration support. Whereas in the field, we have everything uh, from basic uh, social sciences to natural scientists and biophysical scientists. So it is a very rich array of, of ideas, and I think diversity is, first of all, diversity of ideas, and, and, and then we are like learning, and we need to, to get as many ideas on the table as we can to make progress. To make diversity work within the team, it's really a important to have particular sort of ground rules. And one of those is mutual respect. So it does take a bit more effort in terms of communication and listening. But once you're into that habit, if you're open to listening to other kinds of perspectives, it actually enriches what we do very much. The diversity that we have in ASB has uh, enhanced you know, the way we work as individuals because one, we have a good um, leadership. And because we all have different um, strengths, and so I find that the diversity in ASB, you know, builds my strengths. Um, it builds capacity uh, in us as a as a team. If you're working in a situation where either the institution rewards teams or groups, or if you're working on a problem like we're working on, where it'd be crazy for any person to try to do it by themselves, we really know we need each other then coming up with these ways of working collectively and tapping into these rich perspectives is a way to, to be more effective and we learn faster that way. I think it's the conception of the whole program because it's livelihoods and you analyze the economic parts and the environment part and the people part mainly. So when you have all those together then you have to be multidisciplinary and most programs are only conservation or only people or only profits or incomes, whatever. And, and because ASB is all of them, then you have or you need all this interaction. What we really excel at is bringing together dis different disciplines, what I call integrative science. So the biophysical, the economic and social, the agronomic and the forestry. The nature of the problems that we work on requires that range because we're talking about trade-offs. So if you miss a key dimension of it, you may be headed in completely the wrong direction. As we're learning things in a scientific way of knowing, we also have to be testing those and informing those from local experience to know what's really going to work on the ground. And in Brazil, for example, they took people from the states to work there on their PhD thesis and they were social economists or economists, and and they really enriched the views of all the natural economists. Uh, sorry, the natural science scientists who were in the field. And then after that, okay, they finished their work and they had to leave because of lack of funds and of the project. But um, the people in Brazil really are asking for that social economic point of view. That if it wasn't for ASB, then maybe it wouldn't have happened. And, and we, the feedback we get from the people working with us, that it really is that ability to look over boundaries. And, and, and I think we then see that once people have done it in, in the context of ASB projects, they, they tend to take that along to other projects they're doing. And in that sense, a lot of the impact of, of the work is, is in that we can show that you can work with other disciplines and, and, and actually a more interesting set of problems. Say when we're interacting with policy makers, uh, say on forestry policy, so we can bring excellent economic analysis, but because we also have foresters in our team, you know, we, we spell the species names, right? We know the plants that we're talking about also. And that, that might sound funny, but if, if you've got one part of the analysis right, but you make a silly mistake in another area, that's going to immediately undercut your credibility with those people. So it's getting that balance and being able to speak with credibility across the whole range that's crucial. Okay, but how would ASB's uh, work be different if everyone was of a similar background? Hmm. I think it wouldn't be ASB. 